Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all well. Today's video is actually so requested. I've had so many messages about this recently, um, about my makeup, um, which is weird to me because I'm not really much of, I, I love makeup and I love doing my makeup, I love playing with makeup, but I wouldn't necessarily regard myself as good at it. Another frequently asked question at the moment is about my hair and beauty routine. So I thought what I'd do instead of doing all separate videos, I put them all together so I can direct people over if they ask beauty, hair, makeup related questions, I can send them this way. So I'm literally going to include my entire beauty routine into this video. So I have just filmed the makeup tutorial and the hair tutorial, as you might be able to tell. So what I'm going to do is kind of start from the beginning, rewind and show you my skincare steps. <laughs> So my very first step at the moment, I'm using all these Shiseido products. This is a complete cleansing micro foam and I'm lucky enough that in this job I get sent products to try out and share. I've been using this collectively for about a week or so now and really loving it so far. So this literally comes out as a foam. I love it, you just massage it in. It's gentle, but it really feels like it does the job. So you could do like a double cleanse with this. I use this morning and night in the shower. Twice a week, again, when I'm in the shower, I'll do a scrub all over my face, into my neck. Um, this is the one I'm using at the moment. It's Laura Mercier's Refining Creme Polish. It really does a trick. You can give your skin a good scrub and you come out feeling very, very refreshed. And also twice a week, I will go in with a mask, like a full face mask. And this one is the Waso Shiseido one. I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly. Um, it's a purifying peel off mask. So it's like a bright pink when it comes out. You put it all over your skin, just wait for it to dry and then you peel it off. Again, you feel really glowy afterwards and you can definitely tell it does the job. I am loving these products at the minute, these Shiseido ones. Um, I just feel like they really, really work. I'm also a sucker for an eye mask. I've done this one this morning already and I'm out of these, I think, at the moment. So these are the Skin Republic Brightening Eye Masks. So you pop them on like this. Um, leave them for about half an hour. I just did my emails, replied to some direct messages this morning, um, and then just left that on before I got ready, obviously, because I got ready on screen. Um, so yeah, these I just think are so good. I love eye masks. I also really recommend the Rodial ones as well. Okay, so in terms of serums, day-to-day, -day, things like that, I've got a Shiseido one that I'm yet to try out, but I will be doing. So I'm very much looking forward to that. But I've been using, just before this, I've been using all the Dr. Dennis Gross products and this I've still got quite a lot left. It's the Professional Grade Dark Spot Serum. I try not to, it can be a little bit drying, try not to put it too much around the nose area here, but all over the face. I feel like it's a really nice brightening serum. It's got L-absorbic acid, lactic acid, and licorice root. Am I pronouncing that right? I don't know, I'm not a skincare expert, um, but this to me really does a job and definitely use it with some sort of sunscreen or um, SPF too. So two products I'm using together. This is the Waso Shiseido um, Rich Cream and it really is super rich and nourishing, especially in the winter months. This just feels so nice and looks going onto your skin. And in the evenings, I have been mixing it with this Coco and Eve Sunny Honey um, Face Bronzing Face Drop. So you basically pump a bit of this into your moisturizer, mix them together and pop them all over your face. So it just gives you that little glow every evening. And I use those after my serum. I try and let the serum soak in a little bit and then I use the moisturizers afterwards. I do really like the Tan Lux Face Drops, but Actually, I think this might just top them. It creates a really, really nice glow in the morning. Um, this one's the medium glow as well. I will show you the Tan Lux product that I have been using every day as well. But then first, talking about just skincare and skin steps, morning and night, I use this eye cream. It's the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Eye Cream. It's just like a stick that I put on under the eyes and over the eyes, dab it in. And voila! And this again is really nice for the winter months. It's a hydrating cream. So I think if you find that your skin is quite dry in these months, then this is a really good product. So in terms of tan, 
This is the one I have been using. You can see it on me here. I'm naturally very, very pale. Um, and this, no streaks whatsoever. You can see there's no, you can even see like around there. No streaks whatsoever. I've used this, I'd say five to six days in a row. It's not ultra, ultra strong, but that's what I like, especially in winter. Um, I just want that buildable, slightly warm look because sometimes you just need that little pick me up and that glow. This is a hydrating self tan water. I love this. I don't, oh yeah, this, this is, comes in light to medium. So you must be able to get a darker one, which might be quite interesting to try. I'd like to try that actually. Um, so this I just spray on. It's really easy. Rub on with a mitt. I do it every morning at the minute. Um, just to kind of get that build up and then I'll probably just moisturize for a few days afterwards. So I do want to note at the minute, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram. My handle is at Lydia Jane Tomlinson. So that is kind of my skincare everyday routine. What I'm going to talk about next is what I do for my nails and because I always do them myself. Well, that's such a lie. I don't always do them myself, but obviously at the moment I'm doing them myself because we're still in lockdown as I'm filming this. So especially the past year, I've been doing them myself and every now and again, I'll get gel polish, but I usually just do them myself maybe twice a week. So I'll show you that. I'm also going to show you my perfumes, top perfumes for winter, evening and daytime. And then I'll be doing a makeup tutorial followed by a hair tutorial. So let's get on with it. <laughs> So let's talk about nails. The first step I use is this Maybelline Super Strength Stay Primer. I think a primer is probably the most important step. I think it really, really works. It stops your nails going a funny, horrible yellow color as well. So start with a base coat. And then these are my favorite colors at the moment. And I love Nail Zinc products. I think they stay on really, really well. So this is the shade I am using at the minute. It's called Mayfair Lane. I think this might've come in like a gift set, but I love this very, very soft, pinky blush color, so pretty. And then dark shades, this one is called Kensington High Street, and it's like a dark plummy. And then for like a darkish, strong red, this one's called Where's the Party? Such a nice, Christmassy red color. And these kind of tones, not necessarily always this exact brand or color, but these tones are what I normally go for. So I always have a red, I always have a very light or a dark, and I don't really venture from those. I just think these are really classic and go with everything. I finish off with Sesh Vive. You can get this from Amazon, such a great top coat. I absolutely love it and really, really does the trick. And then I put a bit of this on. So this is so good. It's from Jessica. It's their moisture oil kind of thing. So just pop that when I've done my nails, just pop that round the cuticles like that. That is my nail routine. So all time favorite scents. Well, I would say all time. These are actually new, but scents I'm loving at the minute. So this I just received the other day, Tom Ford Rose Prick. This smells so nice, so long lasting. I tried it on the other day and I could smell it all evening such a nice one it's, it does exactly what it says like it's got the hint of rose but with a bit of an edge to it and then another favorite i absolutely love replica so another favorite is this one called coffee break which is so nice it has that aroma of coffee but they've done it in like a perfume way it's so clever um, I really want to try the other Maison Margiela fragrances as well because this is just amazing. And I've also got the Under the Lemon Tree one, which is so nice for summer. And so we come on to my favorite evening scents. So this one, new one, I'm wearing it right now and it smells so good. I did a campaign with Jo Malone on this fragrance. It's that Midnight Musk and Amber. It smells divine. This is actually one that I think is really nice for the daytime, especially around the festive period. And then my all time favorite scent, as you can see, I'm running out. It's the Coco Chanel Mademoiselle. It's just divine. This to me just reminds me of so many nice occasions because I always, always have worn this when I've been going to parties or things like that. And um, this has been like my go-to since being younger. So it's got a real sense of nostalgia to me and I love the scent too. And then a fairly new addition, which is just so good, is the Libra scent from YSL. This is just gorgeous. I also love the bottle. I feel like this would make the best Christmas gift 
but it's such a beautiful scent. Not too dissimilar to the Jo Malone, but perhaps a little bit more eveningy, if or slightly more musky maybe, but so, so good. Definitely recommend trying this one out. So that is the perfumes done. I'm going to take you now over to my makeup tutorial. <laughs> Okay, so I've got my headband on to keep my hair back. This is from Zara last year, by the way, but kind of fancied a bit of sparkle, um, some festive sparkle going on. So I put my headband in, take my hair out of the way, and the first thing I've done already is use this. So this is the Stila Primer. This is the Correct Kitten Skin Tone Correcting and Brightening Primer. So this goes on all over the face. And then another Stila product, which I'm obsessed with, it's new in. It's their Nude Perfect and Project Eyeshadow Primer, which is just amazing. Like I've got quite bluey um, veins under my eyes and this is so, so good. So I've let that kind of soak in a minute. And the first thing I do is go in with concealer. I'm going to be using Rodeal's Diamond Concealer in the shade 20. So this, I actually, it's actually running out, but I just put all under my eyes like this. Put a bit around my nose here. A bit down here. And a tiny bit on the lid too. And then I just take my beauty blender and dab that all in. So next I go in with this from Shiseido. So this, I'm loving Shiseido's products at the moment. So this is their custom finish powder foundation. This is so good for camera, by the way, if you're ever on camera for anything or you're having your pitch taken, it really mattifies. And I just put, I've got quite an oily T-zone. So I literally use it as a powder, use their um, sponge that they give you. And what's great about this is you can just actually apply a really fine layer all over and down the neck too. So depending on what I'm doing, I put either a light layer or a heavier layer on. So the next thing I'm gonna do is use my NARS concealer. This is shade Light Canel 2.0. So um, this is their Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I just go in with my finger. I'm just gonna get, got a couple of blemishes. Um, they're from masks, because I don't normally get them in these places. So I really think it's from my mask. I'm sure we're all kind of experiencing this at the moment. I've definitely noticed a few little spots that I don't normally get got one right on my nose which is where the mask kind of sits so this is kind of how I'll do my makeup on a filming day or something like that when it's not I usually go a little bit lighter so I'm just gonna do the NARS in the corner of the eyes too so I'm no makeup artist so if I'm doing something that makeup artists don't recommend then please forgive me this is just how I do it next this is a new product Charlotte Tilbury it's hair airbrush finish, airbrush flawless finish foundation. No, it's her airbrush flawless finish powder. I also got the brush for this. This is her powder and sculpt brush. I'm just going to take a light layer. I got the shade light. But I kind of feel like I could have gone for the medium as well. Just going to brush that under the eyes. I'm just going to do the T-zone basically. So if I have got time, I sometimes sculpt my nose with the Shiseido, it's a concealer. It's a correcting gel stick, and this is in the shade Tan Halle. Um, and I just kind of sculpt my nose. And in fact, I'll just do the bottom bit. So I just kind of go around like that, and then use a beauty blender just to kind of blend it in. And then sometimes I do the whole shebang, but I'm not going to today. So a bit of bronzer. My favorite is the Bare Minerals one in Warmth. I'm just going to take that and do a bit under the cheeks, come so, blend it right in. I also do the forehead and the chin as well. So I'm going to do a bit of highlight next. I've got this stunning new palette from Dior Beauty. This is their Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. It's got the most amazing colors in this. And I think I'm going to go for this one, which is called the Glitter Strobe gold or just a lightish one. This would make such a pretty gift for somebody as well. It's absolutely stunning. Love Dior's packaging. So I'm just going to take this brush from MAC. This is 473 SES. So I'm just going to take that, brush it a little bit. I'm going to layer that on. I don't know if you can see that. It's going to use this Charlotte Tilbury brush to kind of blend everything 
in a bit more with the bronzer. So for blush at the moment, I'm using this Orion Glow Blush Duo. And this actually came in my glossy box. I think. Yes, it did. I kind of just mingle the two together a little bit and it creates a really nice a bronzy pinky vibe. So for eyes, I have a new palette to my collection. It's this Charlotte Tilbury luxury uh, palette in The Sophisticate. It is the most stunning kind of mix of shades. I absolutely love this. I'm going to go with this kind of darker shade, but just do a really light wash. I'm just taking a big fluffy brush here. Um, and I'm going to start with like the lid and then just kind of bring that color up to my eyebrow. So I've just created a really pale brownish wash there. I'm going to do eyebrows next because I usually just do the base color on the eyelids and then go in with the eyebrows. So one of my all time favorites is the Hourglass Sculpting Pencil. This one is the thinner pencil. I also have the thicker one and I love that it's just got the brush at the end. I kind of brush them up a little bit. And this is in the shade Platinum Blonde, which is great for if you've got eyebrows like me, which are dark blonde, it's by no means platinum at all. I'd say it's almost um, a brownie blonde. Um, actually, saying that, I know a lot of blondes will know this, but sometimes you need more of a gray shade, and this one is a really good one. So it's just a really thin pencil. I'm going to fill in my brows. I don't really do much to my brows apart from every now and again just pluck them but i do fill them in to make them a bit fuller looking and the great thing about this pencil is that it's so thin so you can really create that kind of hair look and i'm just going to try and create the look of a hair i always feel like this middle bit makes such a difference as well so i often kind of take it i know a lot of people say to line your nose with your eyebrows i often try and take it right out there try not to slope down too much and so you can see i've just filled in underneath and here and then just brought it out a little bit at the side so i'm going to do the other one now so i've done them both i just brushed them out and i'm going to set them with this bare mineral strength and length um serum infused brow gel so this is in the shade chestnut which is like a kind of very pale brown so i just try and use a tiny bit of this and then brush them slightly upwards and this just sets them and catches any hairs that are left. So it's slightly controversial but my next step is to do the lips because I feel like you can create a better balance when you've already done the lips so you can kind of see how it works with the eyes. So I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Lip Contour in Flirt and um, I just line all the lips. This is like a really nice brownie shade. Now that that's done, I've just kind of smudged it out a bit with my finger, but you could use a lip brush if you wanted to. Now for the lipstick, new favorite shade. I was a Charlotte Tilbury Yes Honey um, kind of gal, but now I've converted to the Nude Kate. I love them both, but I, this one is slightly pinkier than the Yes Honey, but they're both quite similar. I love the texture of these Charlotte Tilbury um, lipstick so so this is slightly lighter than the lip liner but I quite like that look of having a slightly lined lip okay so I think we're done on the lips so now time for the Yes, your resistance, the eyeshadow, which to be honest, I always really struggle with. What I'm going to start with is, I think this darker shade, so this is called Smoke Ombre. I'm actually going to get a really fluffy brush. This is from Spectrum B07. I'm just gonna start small. I'll dust a bit off on my hand and start from the corner dabbing. And I want to kind of go into the crease, but really blend it right in. So to be honest, I just feel like it's kind of a layering process. You just have to be a bit patient and layer it up. So I'm not doing the lid with it. I'm doing above the lid. Sorry if the light has changed a bit, but the sunlight's shining through, so I needed to kind of get rid of that. So I've built it up a bit, and what I'm going to do is take that same darker shade 
and just put it under the eye. So my next tip, I kind of learnt from Hung Van Gogh's, it's a 90s supermodel makeup tutorial and I'm just obsessed with this look at the moment. It can get a bit messy, but I kind of think that look is nice, like slightly undone. Oh, actually, before I do that, I'm going to put on a little bit of this. So this is Stila's eyeshadow in the shade Kitten and I'm just going to take my finger and pop that kind of on the lid and into the corner just to give it a bit of shimmer. So next, I'm going to use another Stila product. This is their Lip and Eye Cheek Stick in the shade Topaz. So this needs to be done very carefully, but basically I go all along the top of the lid, right to the corner, uh, same with the other eye. So now I've done both sides, I'm going to attempt a little flick with this. So I'm going to just take it up towards, I'm gonna kind of follow the eyeshadow line and take it up towards the arch, just a little flick out. Probably gonna have to do this off camera so that I can concentrate. You can kind of see the line there. It can look a little bit messy, but I kind of, like I say, like that look. What I'll do now is take this black coal eyeliner, just any coal eyeliner will do. Um, this is from Autograph, and I'm going to kind of line the inner of my eye and all um, above it as well, just following the line of the brown shadow, but I'm not going to do the flick, just the lash line. So you can already see that is intensifying this eye. Okay, so that's that. I'm just gonna take this um, thin brush that I used for under the eye before and blend it out a little bit. Finally, for the lashes, I'm going to curl them and then use the Bare Minerals Strength and Length Mascara. This is in extreme black. Um, I love the kind of mix of the blacks and browns, like a smoky eye. So I'm going to curl them now. And you can see there the mascara. So that is pretty much my finished makeup look. I just filled in my brows a tiny bit more because sometimes when I've done my eye makeup, I feel like I need a slightly stronger brow. So what I'm gonna do now is show you, oh, first what I'll do is spray some of this MAC. Fix Plus, just to set it all. This is a coconut one, it smells so good. Um, what I'm going to do now is show you my hair care. So let's begin with the hair by talking about product and what I use on my hair. So I've washed it this morning, I've kind of part dried it. So the first two products I've been using lately are these Shu Amara hair care products. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, so these are the ultimate reset hair. This is a shampoo and conditioner and I must say my hair feels so soft like when I washed the conditioner out this morning it just felt like glass, like it felt so nice and soft. I think this would be so good if you have um, quite dry hair as well. My hair's not dry, it's quite oily. But I was sent these and I really wanted to try them out and I must say I can definitely tell the difference. I've not actually tried this out yet but I do use a mask once once a week, I would say. Um, I've been using the Josh Wood, um, I think it's called like all, all color or all something mask. Um, I'll link it below, but this is the Shu Amura um, Essence Absolute Treatment Mask, which I'm going to be trying next, but judging from the shampoo and conditioner, I think I'll really like this. I usually do a mask on like a Saturday morning. Just a quick shout out as well to my John Frieda Sheer Blonde. This, I think definitely keeps my hair in check in terms of blonde. I also do my own highlights. I know so many of you ask about my highlights. I do my own and I've got a video on that as well. Um, this is the brightening conditioner and highlight activating. I been using these products for years. I absolutely love them. Um, this I'm coming to the end of now, but I use them usually together, the shampoo and the conditioner. So there's a couple of products I used before blow drying. One is the Neil and Wolf heat protectant spray. Another is the Color Wow Dream Coat. I am obsessed with this. I just feel like it makes your hair so glossy looking. This, by the way, is how my hair na dries naturally. All I've done is rough blow dry it and then it's still quite damp at the back. And then I've just started using the Whey um, Volume Spray and I've just used this whilst my hair was wet this morning. And I used it yesterday and I could really see the difference and tell the difference. So definitely think that is a product worth buying. So now I'm going to show you how I kind of style it. I know a lot of you have been asking recently 
what I've been doing to my hair. So I'll show you now how to do it. So the trusty Dyson Airwrap is out. I kind of did a bit of a review on this. It's not amazing if you've got straight hair in terms of holding a real curl. Like my hair is naturally really, really straight. Like there's no curl in that whatsoever. So um, it's quite hard to hold any kind of curl, but it does give that blow dried effect and that lasts. So what I normally do is rough dry my hair with the blow dry segment of the Dyson. And then when it's kind of like half damp, I'll just start and I always make sure I use the one that goes like away from my face. And I do that all round and the same with like the front section. So I'll just show you briefly how I do it. Turn it on and then usually put a section behind. Take a small section, let it go and then hold it up like that. So I've just turned it off. This is on the hottest heat and I'm just going to pull it out like that. So you can see the curl it creates. Don't worry about these front bits. I'll show you how I'm going to do those in a minute. So yeah, just work my way around the hair. You could section your hair off, but I don't normally have time for that. So I just take small sections and lift them up. And I'll do all my hair now and then I'll show you how I do the front bit. Okay, so the full head is done. I've just literally just sprayed it um, with some hairspray and I'm going to show you how I do the front section. Obviously, I'm going to brush this out, um, but I just take the, I've got some slightly shorter bits at the front. So I just take this front bit, get the dice in, turn it on, then put it over the top, let it go, go all the way up and then just leave it there for about 10, 15 seconds. So then I'm gonna pull it out so it's all together like that. I just separate it, usually just hairspray it, and then when it's all set a bit more, I'll brush it out and show you what it looks like. And here we go, this is the finished hair. As I say, this does drop out a little bit, but I kind of love this um, style that it gives, like a really bouncy blow dry, and. The blow dried effect definitely stays in all day. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know if you're going to try out any of the products. I just wanted to get everything into one video. I thought it might be helpful so I can just direct people to this video. Whenever they ask me like a beauty hair makeup question, I can just direct you over to this video. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed it. Let me know if you want to see some more beauty related videos and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.